Hi guys, Jeremy here, and today we're gonna to compare Miro and Milanote. Both of these platforms are incredibly useful tools for visual collaboration, brainstorming, and organizing ideas, but they cater to slightly different needs and workflows. In this video, I'll compare their features, pricing, user interface, support, and more. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear idea of which platform is the right choice for you. So let's dive in. First off, let's talk about Miro. So Miro Miro is a highly versatile online whiteboard platform designed for teams to collaborate in real time. It's like a digital canvas where you can create mind maps, flowcharts, wireframes, and even agile project boards. Miro is widely used by remote teams, designers, product managers, and educators. Its strength lies in its flexibility and extensive integration options with tools like Slack, Trello, and Zoom. Miro is ideal for teams that need a dynamic and interactive space to brainstorm, plan, and execute projects. On the other hand, Milanote is a visual workspace that focuses on organizing ideas and projects in a more structured and aesthetic way. It's often described as a digital mood board or a creative notebook. Milanote is perfect for creatives, writers, and marketers who need to collect inspiration, organize thoughts, and create visually appealing presentations. Unlike Miro, Milanote leans more towards individual creativity and less towards real-time team collaboration. It's a great tool for solo creators or small teams who want to keep their ideas beautifully organized. Now, let's compare the user interface of both platforms. Miro's interface is clean and intuitive with the drag-and-drop functionality that makes it easy to add elements like sticky notes, shapes, and images. The toolbar is well-organized and the infinite canvas allows you to zoom in and out seamlessly. However, because Miro offers so many features, it can feel a bit overwhelming for first-time users. It's a bit harder to learn compared to Milanote, but once you get the hang of it, the interface becomes incredibly powerful. In contrast, Milanote's interface is sleek and minimalistic, designed to feel more like a creative notebook than a traditional whiteboard. The drag-and-drop functionality is smooth, and the layout is visually pleasing, making it a joy to use. Milanote's interface is more straightforward and less cluttered than Miro's, which makes it easier for beginners to pick up quickly. However, the simplicity comes at a cost of fewer advanced features, which might be a limitation for users who need more robust tools. Next, let's dive into the core features of both platforms. So Miro is packed with tools that cater to a wide range of use cases. For starters, it offers a vast library of templates for tasks like brainstorming sessions, user story mapping, and sprint planning. Now, these ready-made templates help teams get started quickly and save time. Miro's real-time collaboration feature is a standout. It allows multiple users to work on the same board simultaneously, fostering teamwork no matter where team members are located. Features like video chat, sticky notes, and even AI-powered tools make collaboration even more seamless speeding up brainstorming and decision-making processes. Another key strength is Miro's integration landscape. It can integrate with over 150 other tools, including Jira, Asana, Trello, Slack, Google Drive, and Microsoft Teams, making everything easy to connect. For presentation ideas, Miro offers a convenient presentation mode. This feature allows users to turn their boards into interactive slideshows. Additionally, Miro helps you make flowcharts, diagrams, and other visual documents in just a few clicks. On the security front, Miro offers advanced and customizable security features to suit projects of any size. Now, these help organizations work together safely while keeping important data secure. Milanote, on the other hand, focuses on simplicity and creativity. Its core features revolve around organizing ideas visually. You can create boards to collect images, links, and notes, and arrange them in a way that makes sense to you. The drag and drop interface makes it easy to design mood boards, vision boards, or even writing outlines. Another feature of Milanote is its ability to nest boards within boards. Now this is super helpful when working on complex projects with multiple levels of ideas. You can easily create a hierarchy of boards and keep all of your thoughts organized. Furthermore, Milanote has a web clipper feature which makes it easy to pull inspiration from 
different websites and add it directly to your boards. This feature is very helpful for compiling references and gathering ideas for creative projects. Milanote also offers templates, but they are more geared towards creative projects like mood boards, storyboarding, and writing. These templates are designed to spark inspiration and save time for users like designers, writers, or filmmakers. However, Milanote lacks some of the advanced collaboration features that My Miro offers, such as real-time editing and extensive integrations. This makes it less suitable for large teams, but perfect for individual creators or smaller groups. Price is a key factor when deciding between Miro and Milanote. So let's break down how their pricing stacks up and what you get with each plan. So Miro offers five pricing tiers to suit different needs. The free plan costs $0 per month and it includes unlimited team members and up to three editable boards. It's a solid starting point for small teams or individuals, though it lacks private boards and advanced features. The starter plan costs $10 per month per member and and it unlocks unlimited boards, private boards, video calls, and version history. Now, this plan is ideal for growing teams that need more flexibility and collaboration tools. Next, the business plan is $20 a month per member. It adds advanced features like secure guest access, multiple teams, custom integrations, and enhanced security. It's tailored for larger organizations or teams managing complex projects. For enterprises, the enterprise plan has custom pricing that starts at 30 plus members and includes enterprise grade security, single sign-on, priority support, and organization-wide controls. This plan is best for large companies that need scalability and strict compliance. Finally, the Enterprise Guard plan is designed for large enterprises with strict compliance requirements. It includes all of the features of the Enterprise plan along with additional security measures like data loss prevention and incident response support. Milanote, on the other hand, keeps pricing simpler with three options. The free plan allows up to 100 notes, images, or links, 10 file uploads, and unlimited shared boards. It's great for solo creators or casual users, but it becomes restrictive for larger projects. The individual paid plan costs $12.50 a month. It offers unlimited notes, file uploads, and boards. Now, this tier suits freelancers or small creative teams who need more storage and flexibility. For teams, Milanote's team plan is $49 a month when billed annually. This plan has features like unlimited notes, files, and shared boards. If you are a larger team, you must contact sales for custom pricing. Now, let's talk about customer support. Miro offers a comprehensive support system, including a help center, community forum, and email support. Paid users also get access to priority support, which ensures faster response times. Miro's support team is known for being responsive and helpful, making it a reliable choice for businesses that need quick assistance. However, Miro does not offer phone support, which might be a drawback for some users. Milanote, on the other hand, provides email support and a detailed help center. While Milanote's support options are more limited compared to Miro, users generally find the support team to be friendly and efficient. Milanote also has a strong community of users who share tips and tricks, which can be a valuable resource for new users. However, like Miro, Milanote does not offer phone support, which might be a downside for those who prefer direct communication. So when it comes to user reviews on Trustpilot, both platforms have struggled to impress, though their pain points are different. Miro currently holds a 2.0 out of five star rating based on over 90 reviews. Now, while some users praise its versatility, ease of use, and collaboration tools, the majority highlight significant drawbacks. Frequent complaints include performance issues like lagging or crashing when handling larger boards and frustration with pricing, which many small teams and individuals describe as too expensive for the value provided. Milanote, on the other hand, has a 3.6 out of 5 star rating, but this score comes from just three reviews, making it less statistically reliable. People who use Milanote love how easy it is to use, how nice it looks, and how it helps their creative work. However, negative reviews criticize the limitations of the free plan and the lack of advanced collaboration tools like real-time editing, which makes teamwork awkward. While Milanote's rating appears slightly better, the 
tiny sample size and recurring gripes about scalability suggest neither platform is a clear winner in user satisfaction. If Trustpilot reviews are a priority for you, proceed with caution. Both tools have notable flaws despite their strengths. So which one should you choose? Well, if you are a part of a team that needs a powerful collaborative tool for brainstorming, project management, or agile workflows, Miro is the better choice. Its extensive features and integrations make it a versatile platform for teams of all sizes. On the other hand, if you are a solo creator or part of a small team looking for a visually appealing tool to organize ideas and projects, then Milanote is the way to go. Its simplicity and focus on creativity make it perfect for writers, designers, and marketers. Ultimately, the choice depends on your specific needs and workflow. So that's it for today's comparison. If you found this video helpful, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more SaaS reviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.